And this just in on CBS Sports HQ. We're getting some of the tea times that are being revealed, some of the featured groups for round one on Thursday at 8 a.m. We got Scotty Scheffler, Brooks Kepka, Gary Woodland at 8-11. JT, that's last year's winner, paired with Rory McIlroy, Colin Morikawa. Then at 8.22 a.m., we have Jordan Spieth, Victor Hovland, and Lowry. And then at 8.33, John Rahm, Fitzpatrick, and Cam Smith. And let's say hello to CBS Sports golf analyst Doug Bell for a PGA Championship preview. Uh, Doug, to kick things off, we're just seeing those notable tee times for round one. Are any of those pairings surprising to you for Oak Hill, or is it what you were expecting? Well, I was expecting the PGA of America to have the top three players in the world all play together. I'm a little surprised that uh, Scheffler, Rahm, and McElroy aren't paired together. They've done that in the past. But then when you look at those pairings, Jacqueline, uh, Rory McIlroy playing with Justin Thomas, he, he's the only one of the top three that isn't play, playing with a live player in the first two rounds. So I thought that was kind of interesting as well. Colin Morikawa, the other member of that threesome. So uh, it'll be fun. All-star studded, big galleries. They're going to be filling the uh, lanes there at Oak Hill watching these guys. So all good. I, I can't wait to watch on Thursday and Friday. Yeah, and one of the stars in the field, of course, none other than Scotty Scheffler, now the favorite to win the PGA. Yes. He finished T10 at the Masters. He's now finished top 10 in seven of his past major starts, coming off a T5 finish at the Byron Nelson. He was your, your pick to win that one, Doug. But what are your expectations for Scotty at Oak Hill? Well, if you look at the numbers, the statistics, he's number one on the PGA Tour strokes gained off the tee. In other words, he hits it farther and straighter than anyone else. He's also number one on the PGA Tour from tee to green and number one in greens hit in regulation. This is astounding. He hits close to 75% of his greens in regulation. So it gives him a lot of birdie opportunities, Scotty Scheffler. Uh, there's a reason a lot of people are putting money on him because they think he's the guy right now. They think his game stacks up perfectly for Oak Hill. But this is the one thing I want to mention. Uh, he's down getting up and down out of the bunkers. If you look at his statistics and last week at the Byron Nelson, where the bunkers were not tough at all, he was only two for seven for the week getting up and down. And at Oak Hill, those bunkers are ferocious. So Scotty Scheffler, he hits a lot of greens, but if he gets in those bunkers, he needs to do a better job getting up and down. Just some stats I want to throw out there before you put your money on Scotty Scheffler. All right, so last year's winner, of course, you know, it's Justin Thomas. He's looking to repeat his odds are plus 2,500. We also, as you mentioned, Doug, we got some live guys that are back in the field. So, Doug, who do you like as a top 10 lock? Well, uh, again, you hate to go with chalk, but John Rahm, uh, again, he's 8 out of 10 so far this year on the PGA Tour in top 10s. And think about that. Uh, and one of those uh, misses, he got sick and had to withdraw from the Players' Championship. So here's a guy who, listen, going in, he's number one in the PGA Tour in scoring average, just over 68 per round. Amazing. He leads the PGA Tour in most birdies per round. 5.25 birdies per round on average. Uh, leads in birdies made, leads in eagles made. Uh, this guy's number one strokes gained overall. In other words, he has no weaknesses. And I believe the winning score will be somewhere in the vicinity of eight, nine under par come Sunday. And I don't think there's any doubt that John Rahm comes Sunday afternoon, his name will be in that first page of the leaderboard. Not gonna say he's gonna win. I'm just gonna say he will be in the thick of things. And I think he is a top 10 lock at the PGA Championship. His odds right now to win it are 7 to 1, and we show that graphic there. He leads the PGA and wins this season with four of those. All right, Doug, one of my favorite things to do when we're talking picks. When it comes to a sleeper pick for the PGA Championship, who you got for us? Well, Adam Scott, uh, and you're thinking, Adam Scott, he's 44 <laughs> years old. He has 14 wins on the PGA Tour. Of course, he has that Masters. And Adam Scott is playing really, really well. He has a couple of nice finishes at the Wells Fargo Championship and the AT&T Byron Nelson. In fact, the last that's a tie for fifth and tie for eighth the last two weeks. Uh, back in 2013, the last time the PGA Championship was at Oak Hill, he finished tied for fifth. He was five under par that week. He's still very good, long off the tee, even for a 44-year-old. And I just think he has a lot of experience. He's Third right now statistically on the PGA Tour going for greens on par fives. Now, there's only two par fives, 
But again, just it all adds up. He's playing really, really well right now. And his odds earlier this week, they're 90 to one. Now they're like 75 to one. So some people are sprinkling some money on Adam Scott, me included. <laughs> yeah, Doug, when we were doing the Byron Nelson updates over the weekend, the leaderboard kept updating and it was like Adam Scott popping up there. Yeah. We're like, hey, all right. I mean, he finished T8 <laughs> at the uh, Byron Nelson. All right, so we got the top 10 lock. We have the sleeper pick. So, Doug, finally, let's get right to it. Who is your pick to win at Oak Hill this weekend? Well, I, I really was agonizing over this pick because there's so many good players. The most competitive era in my mind in professional golf history but here's a guy who's never won. And you're thinking you're going with a guy who's never won. But Cameron Young is a big game hunter. He's a guy who hits it a long way, long and straight. One of the longest hitters on the PGA Tour. Look at that, 318 yards driving distance. He finished second last year at the Open Championship. He was third last year at the PGA Championship at Southern Hills. And he topped 10 most recently at the Masters. He's from Schenectady, New York, about three hours west of Rochester. So he really likes this area. He grew up playing it. Uh, look how pretty this golf course is. He loves it. He loves fast, bent grass greens. That's what they have at Oak Hill. I think with Paul Tesori on his bag, that's Webb Simpson's old caddy. They're quite a tandem right now. His game matches what is necessary at Oak Hill to perfection. I think Cam Young, and I think he's 30 to one right now. I think he will hoist the Wanamaker Trophy and celebrate with family and friends all from that region in upstate New York. All right, that is Doug Bell joining us here on CBS Sports HQ for a PGA Championship preview. Thank you so much, Doug. We appreciate it. Uh, Doug is going with Cam Young to win at Oak Hill. And of course, CBS Sports HQ has got you covered for the PGA. We got boots on the ground all tournament long in New York. You can catch our HQ crew on site with interviews and analysis from Oak Hill. Then of course, you can catch third and fourth round coverage on CBS.